The numbers, Mason! What do they mean? Hey YouTube, Toker here with the very first video for this channel. Today I'm going straight into the mechanics of Vanguard with numbers. Numbers? Making good numbers is a concept that comes naturally by playing the game, because cards are designed so that they do make good numbers. For example, a 9k grade 2 and a 7k grade 1 booster makes... 16k! Nice, that's a 10k guard. But, I'm honestly a bit surprised to see that some people don't know more about these number mechanics. So, why are numbers so important? Numbers are important because it lets you hit for damage and thus, win you the game. There are a couple things we need to know about the game as a baseline to better understand numbers in Vanguard. For example, one is the attacker will win ties, and two, the game guards in intervals of 5k. And as such, my opinions for the most important numbers in Vanguard are 5, 7, 9, 11, these being the base power of the cards in grade 0, 1, 2, 3 respectively, then We've got 21, 26, 31, and 41 as being attacking powers that ask for increasingly large demands. Let's go to the board to take a deeper look at what I mean. Alright, let's look at how numbers affect guarding. So in my hand, I've got 10k shield, 10k shield, 5, 5, 5, heal trigger, 0, and Kanzen. So a total, I have 20, 30, 35, perfect, and G-Guard for 20, 25, or even more. So what does this mean in context of guarding? If he swings at me for 11, that means because the attacker wins the tie, I only need 5 to guard. So I can throw a 5 from my hand to guard, or I can intercept for 5 to guard. If he attacks at 16, I need 10 to guard. So how can I do that? I can drop a 10. I can drop two fives, or I can drop one five and an intercept. Next, if he's attacking for 21, what do I do? I need to drop 10, which matches me to 21. But now I need an extra five. So that makes 15, which guards to 21, fine. So 21 is one of the best numbers to hit when you're first attacking because that asks for not one card, but two. What are the other numbers I said were important? I said 26. Why is 26 important? Because when you ask for 26, <laughs> you're demanding either two tens, which hits you to 31, which guards that, or you're asking for a G-Guard. Just your standard 20k G-Guard. Now, as you can see in this example, I've got the heal in my hand, and I've got three heals in damage already, which means there's absolutely no chance of this card being a heal trigger, which means I need to guard every single one of this turn's attacks. So let's say he attacks with Vanguard first, and on his sides, he's got 11 and 16, let's say. So the Vanguard, obviously, I PG that. And he gets, he gets a trigger. Now, his choice to make is either he can make, let's say this is 16, let's say this is 11. He can put 5k here to make this 16, 16. Or he can put the 5k here to make this 11, 21. When you make this 16, 16, as I said before, 16, 16, you only need 10k and 10k to guard. Total, I only lost two cards from hand to guard both of those attacks. If you make this 11, 21, I need to drop 5 for the 11, and then I need to drop 15 for the 21, which means I actually lost three cards in hand for this. So that's one thing to keep in mind of is if you know your opponent's drive checks from last turn and you know that they only have a certain type of shield value in their hand, just put your tr triggers properly. Now, let's look at why uh, 9k is important. 9k is important because 9k can actually theoretically hit your vanguard on a kill turn. If they have a 9k and they swing to my vanguard, of course it doesn't hit. However, if they go 9k to, well, zipper is a bit bigger. If they go 9k to 9k, then I'm losing an intercept or I'm losing a 5k guard to guard that 9k. Which, in the grand scheme of things, this 5k does make a huge difference to other guard values, depending on what happens in the turn. That's just the basic of guarding. Numbers in Vanguard goes very deep, and this was just like the surface of it. A lot of the times, a lot of these number things will uh, be very intuitive and be very case-to-case. -case. The rules in general are that ties go to the attacker, and thus 11 to 11 happens, and the game plays in intervals of 5k. The game playing played on intervals of 5k means that attacks for 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 on an 11k Vanguard all ask for the same guard value, which is 5k. Attacks for 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 on 11k Vanguard ask for the same value, which is 10k. Which means like it's really important to hit those magic numbers, being 11, 16, 21, 
Okay, that was Numbers in Vanguard. I hope this video gave you a deeper understanding of guarding mechanics and the importance of making good numbers and trigger splitting properly. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click that like button and if you want to see more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Toku out.